Hi guys, welcome to another episode of PilotClimb.com. In today's video we are going to talk the flap load relief of the Boeing 737. So you will see and understand what is this flap load relief, why it is used and how can you spot if this flap load relief is actually working. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if you're a seamer, student pilot, a professional pilot that needs any help, please go to PilotClimb.com where you can check my services. And if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. So let's talk about this flap load relief of the Boeing 737. What it is. So let's look from outside. So we are in a holding with the gear down and the flap 15, okay? So as you can see, the trailing edge flap are already extending to flap 15, okay? So what is this flap load relief? As you can already imagine, guys, that if you are driving with your car, let's say, okay, and you put your hand, your hand outside the wind of the car, you will see that, that the air that will produce some pressure on your hands. And the same applies to the flap. So when you are on landing, okay, you have the maximum speed for each flap setting, okay? So if you look in here on the Boeing 737, uh, 800 you will see that you have flap limit indicated airspeed so what does it mean is that you can extend flap one at a speed at or below 250 knots okay flap two 250 knots flap five 250 knots i ne i don't recommend to extend the flap one two and five at 249 knots that's not the, the, how we do it okay you really want to take some margins because if there is any wind change or any turbulence the speed goes up and down a little bit you're gonna end up exceeding the maximum speed for that flap setting so you really want to have some good margins in there i usually select flap one two and five when i'm a, uh, flap one when i'm a, around up speed so around 200 to 210 knots flap five when i'm approaching the flap one speed and so on okay so these are maximum speed however you always want to keep some uh, some uh, margins okay so you don't really want to extend flap one to 49 flap 10 to 209 no you want to take 10 20 30 knots of limits However, guys, when you get to the landing flaps 30 and 40, okay, the limits are very tight, okay, so your limits are very tight, especially when you fly with strong headwind, because with strong headwind, you're gonna fly with a, a fly speed that might be very close to the minimum so, so to the maximum landing speed. So let's say we set flap 30 for landing, and as you can see in here, it says that the maximum speed for flap 30 is 175, okay, not. So what happens is that sometimes when you have strong headwind, you might fly very, very close to the maximum speed. And when you have strong headwind, normally you have strong uh, turbulence, okay, the headwind normally is with the turbulence, not always, but some, you know, 80% of the time. So what will happen is that it is easy to get an go on to the overspeed scenario of the flap. So what will happen is that the Boeing 77 has got this automatic flap load relief that will attract the flaps from flap 30 to flap 25 and from flap 40 to flap 30 if the speed exceeds the maximum speed. So let's say we are on final and we are flying at 170 knots, for example, then we have some turbulence, the speed increased to 176 knots, which is one knot above the maximum speed. What will happen is that the flap load relief system will actually retract the flaps from flap 30 to flap 25 okay and once the speed without we don't have to do anything the aircraft will do that automatically okay and once the speed is back to 171 knots so four knots below the maximum speed it will extend back the flap to 30 Okay, this is very useful uh, system, you know, because it really helps out to save some uh, damage on the flaps. Okay, it's really re relief the load on the flaps. Okay, so uh, this uh, flap load relief system, okay, uh, takes the information from the flap slot electronic unit. Okay, so basically it sends the speed. Okay, from the captain side, sends it, it feels the speed. Okay, if the speed is one knot below, sorry, above the maximum speed, we retract. The same applies for flap 40, so if the speed goes one knot above the flap 40, so in this case, as you can see, flap 40 is 170, 162, if the speed goes above uh, and it goes 163 or more, the system will retract the flap from flap 40 to flap 30, okay? And then once the speed is four knots below the maximum speed, so 158, the system will extend back the flap 40, 
okay so let's do an example okay guys so as you can see in here we've got uh, we are approaching the ls okay let me stop the simulator guys so we are approaching the ls this is our runway okay so let me do something like that this is our runway okay we are on final okay we are 3000 feet that's our localizer and glass information and we are already geared down okay as you can see in here gear down flat 15 okay we've got flat 15 speed so we're gonna be we're gonna arm approach we're gonna get established on the localizer okay and on the glide drop and then we uh, we set for 30 okay and then i i accelerate to 175 knots and you will see what the pilot actually sees when the flap load relief takes place okay because i can tell you my experience i've never had it okay thanks god but anyway it's uh, i was always wondering how can a pilot actually see because if you are focused especially on very bad weather to fly the plane it's not easy to see that the flap goes from flap 30 to flap 25. You can feel it because you might you feel the aircraft the the, the, the lift capability and characteristic of the aircraft changes. However, it's not. I was always thinking it's not that easy. So if you look, you will see that the minimum speed and the maximum speed indication on the airspeed indication, once the flap load relief takes place, what will happen is that they uh, they become bigger because we're gonna have the information about flap 25 because you're gonna have the minimum speed for flap 30 and the maximum speed for flap 30 you're gonna have these information but once the flap load relief retracts the flaps to 25 this information updates for flap 25 and you will see that this yellow and red information will start to go away that is an that is an indication that the flap load relief is taking place then once you see that it's very easy to spot because you are flying and you are checking the airspeed if you look at the uh, flap setting you will see that the flaps is actually 25 okay and then once you re, uh, once you slow down the flap will automatically extend back to flap 30 and the maximum minimum speed indication of the airspeed uh, on the airspeed tape will update to the flap 30 okay so let's try to uh, do this okay let's try to get established i'm gonna arm approach okay i'm gonna exit the old okay old exit old okay and then i'm gonna arm approach we are vorlock is captured okay and then once we are established on the glide slope okay we are going to basically perform the uh, we're gonna put the uh, flat 30 and then we accelerate and i'll show you uh, how does it work okay so the glide slope is coming in there we've got the run in there let me just do this just in case the aircraft start performing our holding beautiful so the glide slope is armed, as you can see here is the white uh, glide slope there, which is, that means that it's armed, the glide slope is coming, and once we've got the glide slope, we say flat 30, because now we are flat 15, okay, and then we accelerate to 171, 170, sorry, 176, okay, because the maximum speed is 175. Here we go. So we've got glide slope captured. I said flap 30. Look at the speed, the flaps in their indication. I reduce the speed. Okay. Here we go. So now this is a normal scenario. Look at this, guys. The red information in here is telling you the maximum speed because, as we said, flap 30 maximum speed is 175 knots. Okay. And if you look at the red box in there, it's exactly 175 knots. It's telling you that the, that's the maximum speed. Okay. So look at this. So this doesn't change because there's maximum speed for flat 30 and we've got flat 30 in there. If I increase the speed to 170, 180, okay, or yeah, 180, you will see, look at this. Eh? Hopefully we're gonna get to that speed before actually the runway. <laughs> so look, eh? look at this, look at this. You will see how, what happened to this. Uh, information in here the red and, and black boxes regarding the maximum speed and look at the in here as well okay so now we are approaching the maximum speed for flat 30 let me increase the speed a little bit more 173 175 is the maximum speed look now 176 now that is changed because the flap load relief is actually retracting the flaps and if i slow down back again 
now is telling us the information. Let me stop the simulator. Now it's telling us the information regarding the flap 25. Because, guys, if you look in here, flap 25 says maximum speed 190 knots. And look in here, guys, this is 190 knots. Okay, the, the red box. Okay, this actually now is updated because we've got the flap 25. And as you saw on final, guys, if you are focused, it's a lot easier to spot that the flap load relief is retracting the flaps by looking here because this really, you will see it okay straight away this is a little bit more difficult because you you know it's, it's a bit more difficult because they're on the right okay you might feel it because they again lift capability of the plane especially if you have good experience flying the 737 you will feel it however that's really the first indication okay so let's see when does a uh, re-extend the flap from 25 to 30. Now we are going back and we said 4 knots below, so we've got 171 knots. Once the speed is 4 knots lower than the maximum speed, it's gonna here we go. As you saw, there guys at 171 knots, we went back to the 175, telling us that this that the flap of the leaf is extending the flap back to 30, and as you can see, the flap are already going to 30. Okay. So now guys. Let's try to do it with flap 40. If I put flap 40, hopefully we're gonna be able to do that and increase the speed. Now we've got the maximum speed for flap 40, guys, is in that, that one, that one in there, okay? We are getting very close to the run, hopefully everything, I mean, we're gonna have time. Look at what happened, guys. Now we're approaching the maximum speed for flap 40. The maximum speed for flap 40 guys is 162, okay? As you can see in there, and as you can see by the black box in there, it is indicating us. So let me, here we go, 161, okay? And look now, eh? it's gonna basically, what will happen? It's gonna retract the flap from flap 40 to flap 30, telling us this red box is going to go to the maximum speed for flap 30, 175, and you will see that, okay? Let's see. There we go, look. Now, black uh, red box to 175 knots, okay, as you can see in there, 175 knots, and now is ex retracting the flaps. Okay, so I go back to the speed, and hopefully we're gonna have time. Well, we won't have that much time. Okay, now. As we said, guys, four knots below. So, guys, maximum speed is 162. So, four knots below is going to be 158. It is going to extend back the flap from flap 30 to flap 40. Let's see if we manage to do that. 158 back. Okay, now we've got this the maximum speed information regarding flap 40. And we've got flap 40 selected in there. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to stop the simulator in here, okay, because we are approaching the round right now. So... I hope you understand this flap load relief, okay? Depending on the aircraft, the Boeing 737 model, some flap load relief, okay? So, sorry, for some some Boeing 737 models, the flap load relief is available starting from flap 10, okay? However, some Boeing 737 they have flap load relief available only for flap 30 and 40. Depends on the model, okay? But the target for today's video is to show you what it is the flap load relief, why we've got this flap load relief, and how can you spot when the flap load relief is taking place, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and then I will help you out. Also, go to paloclient.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.